Oh. Autism and what is it is the topic of my speech. Um, one out of 150 children will be diagnosed with autism each year. One out of 94 will be boys. This number has increased drastically since 1992. Autism is a spectrum disorder, which means that the symptoms vary from child to child. Um, I will be discussing the following topics. Diagnosis, which includes symptoms and behaviors. Treatment and therapy, um, which includes like ABA therapy, which is um, geared toward autism, and the cost. Um, also, I will be talking about working with autism in the child care setting, the school setting, and as an adult. So, the diagnosis. There is no evidence or direct evidence why children get autism. It's highly controversial, which is very frustrating for parents. Um, there are a few main reasons why we think that children get autism and those include genetics um, like in the brain development um, when you get your MMR vaccinations since they have changed the vaccinations since 1992 that might be one of the reasons that's been on and off and then there's environmental factors like different food allergies and what the pregnant mother might have been through. Um, some of the symptoms, um, little to no speech, they don't like to cuddle, um, developmental delays like with the fine and gross motor skills, um, they don't like social interaction, they're not comfortable, they'd rather be alone, they don't like to make eye contact, and they just prefer to play by themselves. They can also be stressed by unfamiliar sounds, environments, people. Some of the behaviors, um, they do some repetitive motions like rocking and fidgeting with their hands. And they also like things to be in order, kind of like OCD, um, lining up toys, lining up blocks. Um, they might also hit themselves and they use hand gestures instead of their words or they'll point for something or reach for something instead of asking for it. Um, they might have impulsive reactions, reacting, react, reacting to other children's actions violently with fighting or hitting back. Um, there are treatment and therapy um, that you can do for autism but there is no cure. Um, ABA therapy might be the most expensive, but it's applying scientifically proven behavior techniques to improve behavior. It measures the behavior, teaches functional skills, and evaluates the progress. Um, speech therapy is pretty much a basic for a child with autism. They misuse and they misunderstand language. It's hard for them to carry a conversation. Most People diagnosed with autism need a speech therapist. Um, behavioral training kind of goes along with ABA therapy, but um, it's just more behavior. It's kind of, um, um, since it's a spectrum disorder, behaviors will vary greatly. Um, it'll measure the cause and effect of what the child with autism does and then record kind of the positive or negative outcome. Um, there are different medicines that can help with autism, with the side, the other kind of side effects like ADHD, stress, anxiety. Um, they might also have hearing problems. Um, and then there are support groups for parents and caregivers and specialists to take to teach different techniques and share their stories. Um, since this is an easy way for parents to relate and learn about autism. It is a costly disorder. It costs America about $35 billion a year, which um, kind of broadens it out to $3.2 million per child. Um, there has been an increase in federal funding, so hopefully that will help out with 
the study of autism. But there are, there are also people doing things differently to decrease the cost, like using the fine arts um, to relax, like music, art, and dance. Um, working with autism, I'm a Head Start teacher, so I kind of have a little experience working with autism. Um, I know parents have to trust me and have open communication with me. And the best training for working with a child with autism is experience and to learn different techniques and learn the child's behaviors and their, you know, what sets them off. Um, the school setting, they're creating new programs to teach children. Um, like parents expect, may expect way too much from the special education teachers and parents need to realize that it is a broad spectrum, spectrum disorder and they need to you know, help out with everything that they know. And there's more one-on-one -on -one programs children are paired up with the para and then there's also speech therapy that happens at school too with the speech pathologist. Um, living as an adult, um, people with autism, um, some of them do grow up to live a normal life through all therapy and everything that they've gone through. Some of them are never able to live alone and some are able to live in an, with an aid or in an aided community. Um, children will never grow, outgrow autism it's going to be with them forever. There's no cure. But America is learning more about autism every day. Autism is a growing disorder which can be severe, disruptive, and sometimes violent. The more we understand, the more we can help those in need. Thank you.